this tutorial, we'll explain how to configure ShipBridge to print shipping labels. SellerCloud integrates with many carriers, including the U.S. Postal Service, UPS, FedEx, DHL, and more. Each carrier offers multiple services, often with different label formats. With the label printer configuration, you can select the label printer and the specific format for each service individually. Let's demonstrate how to configure label printing using the U.S. Postal Service via Indicia Label server as an example. Open the menu, click on Options, then click on the USPS tab. Locate the Label Printer Configuration button. Click on the button to open the configuration window. In this grid, we'll configure the shipping method and the packaging type, the printer, and the file type. Select the service from the drop-down. The drop-down contains the full range of services offered by USPS. Once you have selected the service, you can select the package type, such as envelope or parcel. If no package type is selected, it will use the default packaging type, which is set on the carrier tab. Click Add, and the printer configuration window will pop open. Select the printer. If you selected a thermal printer, click Thermal on the printer type. For all other printers, click Letter Sized PDF. Now select the label format file type. For USPS, the three file formats are EPL2, ZPL2, and PDF. You will need to select a format that is compatible with your printer. EPL and ZPL are formats that work specifically with thermal printers. Non-thermal printers, like laser printers, require a PDF format selection. Click the Test button to test print a label. If you're satisfied how it prints, click the OK button. Now you add another service with the same process. Because they are set individually, labels can be configured to print on different printers based on the service. For example, you can configure a USPS Priority International label to print on an 8.5 by 11 paper to be inserted in a sleeve, while a USPS Priority International flat rate box 4x6 label can be set to print on a thermal printer. When you're finished adding services, click the OK button on the configuration window. This setting controls the orientation of thermal labels as it will print, either top to bottom or bottom to top. This is especially important when using dock tab labels for FedEx. On the FedEx tab, enable Use Dock Tab. Dock Tab labels can come in different sizes, with the Dock Tab in the front or back. Select the label size and type that you are using from the drop-down. Depending on the Dock Tab available, you may have to configure the orientation of the label, top to bottom or bottom to top. When you're finished configuring the USPS tab, save your settings. If you are printing labels on a laser printer, you have the option of integrating the label and packing slip so that they print on a letter-sized paper. Open the Invoice tab. Now enable the setting Print Label Invoice on Half Page. This will print the label and invoice side by side on one paper. Order information can be referenced on the label using the rubber stamps. For example, you can select to place the SKU on the label from rubber stamp 1, the order number from rubber stamp 2, and the product description from rubber stamp 3. Now that this is configured, orders that are set to ship with those shipping methods will print labels in their correct format for the correct printer.